welcome back with me on war so today i would like to introduce you to the new brand new motorcycles of course that's powerful power efficient and just as reliable as a truck but it is a motorcycle well introducing bunda Hey man, did you know that the Bunda motorcycle is just as powerful as it is? No man, I don't know that. I'm just using the Suzuki Hayabusa for just uh, at least a decade right now and I have never doubt about it because it is powerful as hell. Well, you definitely want to try it, so check it out. Our sponsor of today's seminar, Bunda, the power of mom. And you can order your latest motorcycle in our site www.bunda.com And don't forget to use the Kelvin code Hit this shows in your screen Save up to 15% of your first order Now back to the seminar The Honorable Mrs. Yuvina Andani as the chair of this event the Honorable Mr. Anwar Suyo Prasojo as reliable speaker. The Honorable Mrs. Kirivita Kristiowati as reliable speaker. The Honorable Mrs. Veladisma as reliable speaker. And the participants we approach of. Good morning, everyone. Let us express our gratitude to God, who has given us the opportunity so that we can attend this event. The seminar with the theme, The Real Life Applications of Characters Personality Based on Anton Chekhov's Gemma, The Proposal. Of course, through this seminar, new information and new knowledge will be obtained about how a character in a drama can be related to life. Ladies and gentlemen, we approach of. I say here about the schedule of this event. First is greetings from the chair of this event. Second, deliver the material, third, questions and answer sessions, and fourth, closings. Let us start with the first event, greetings from the chair of this event. To Mrs. Jovina New Andani, we respectfully invite. Good morning, everyone. The Honorable Mr. Anwar Surya Prasujo as reliable speaker. The Honorable Mrs. Rivita Kristiawati as reliable speaker. The Honorable Mrs. Vela Disma as reliable speaker and participants we approach of. Let us express our gratitude to God for the blessings given so that we can gather in this seminar. As the person in charge of this seminar, I welcome all seminar participants. The seminar entitled The Real Applications of Character Personality based on Anton Chekhov's drama will discuss how to analyze the character's character and relate it to social life. As we all know, character is an important point in literary work. This seminar presents three great speakers, namely Mr. Anwar Surya Prasajo, Mrs. Rivita Kristiwati, and Mrs. Viradisma, who will present their respective materials. It is hoped that participants can attend this seminar well, and after the event, it is hoped that the participants will have new knowledge and can take a lesson and apply it in life. Hopefully, the seminar can run smoothly without any obstacles. Finally, as a person in charge, in charge of the event, if there are any thoughts coming in this seminar, we apologize. Please enjoy the seminar. Hope it is useful. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Yuvina New and Daniel, for the greetings. The audience we approach of entered the second event, deliver of material. Let me say a little about the drama storyline, which is the topic of this event, namely a work by Anton Chekhov entitled The Proposal. As the title suggests, this drama will tell you about a proposal or marriage proposal from two characters in this drama. Not going smoothly, there will be a problem that hinders the applications and almost destabilizes both parties. Ladies and gentlemen that we approach of, before the speakers deliver their material, I will convey some of the provisions of the main event, namely as follow. The presenter are welcome to convey their material and discussions. As long as the speakers deliver their material, it is prohibited to interrupt. After the speaker has finished delivering the material, the questions and assertions will be opened. Those are the rules that we will use. 
Well, then we invite the first speaker, Mr. Anwar Surya Prasetya, to convey his message. Okay, thank you, Yovina, for the greetings. Uh, by the way, I'm sorry if I uh, have to make this microphone as close to my mouth as close on to my mouth as possible because when I well place it right here you cannot really hear what I am saying so let's get started the proposal are originally titled as a marriage proposal is a one act play written by Anton Chekhov the play highlights the tendency of wealthy families seeking ties with other wealthy families to increase their estates by encouraging marriage that make good economic sense. Um, that's uh, not, no, not completed yet because before we jump into the story, I would like to tell you more about Mr. Anton Chekhov or Mr. Anton Pavlovich Chekhov. So Chekhov was born in Russia in January 1860. He was a Russian playwright and short story writer who is considered to be among the greatest writers of short fiction in history. Chekhov is often referred to as one of the three seminar Chekhov is often referred to as one of the three seminal figures in the birth of early modernism in the theater in the beginning he writes a story to earn money but as his artistic ambition grew he made for formal innovations which have influenced the evolution of the modern short story. He made no apologies for the difficulties posed to his uh, readers, insisting that the role of an artist was to ask questions, not to answer them. Okay, so by May 1904, Chekhov was terminally ill with tuberculosis. Mikhail Chekhov recalled that everyone who saw him secretly, though the end was not far off, but the nearer he was to the end, the less he seems to realize it. On June the 3rd, he set off with Olga for the German spa town of baden Weiler in the Black Forest in Germany, from where he wrote outwardly jovial letters to his sister Masha, describing the food and surroundings and assuring her and his mother that he was getting better. In his last letter, he complained about the way German woman dressed. Well, that's a kind of a uh, history, isn't it? Um, oh, alright, that's enough. Now we're talking about the story, a marriage proposal. So, before we started about the whole story, I would like to show you about the, well, the plot diagram. So, alright, so as you can see in the screen, the diagram is started with the number 1 to 7. Uh, it's kind of like an ordinary story because it consists of introduction, rising actions, climax, falling actions, and resolutions. So, let me tell you the key point about the numbers represented for. So, for number one, it's just like introduction. 
The introduction starts with Lomov tells Chubikov he wants to marry Natalia, Chubikov's daughter. Number two, it started with the rising actions. The rising actions actually start with Lomov and Natalia argue about who owns Oxen Meadows. Number three, it's Natalia tells Chubikov to bring Lamov back to propose. There are whole lots of conflicts. And to number four, Lamov and Natalia argue about who has the better dog. So moving on, moving on to number five, Lamov feigns Natalia and Chubikov think he's dead, but it is just a play and. Into the following actions, number six, Chibikov proposes for Lomov, Natalia, then she accepts him. Into the resolutions, it is, it is number seven, Natalia and Lomov begin to argue again. So, what just you are cute about if you haven't? Seen or read the story? Let me catch you a summary. I Man, let me read the summary. So, so the play takes place in Russia during the 1880s. During the 1880s, I'm sorry. All the action happens in the drawing room in the house of Stepan Stepanovich Chubikov, he is Chubikov, wearing dress clothes and white clothes. Ivan Vasilovich Lomov, this is Lomov, enters and greets his friend Chubikov. Um, Lomov seems nervous about something and Chubikov is puzzled by his friend's anxiety and formal attire. When somebody has a formal attire, it, is, it means something will going on. Eventually, Lomo says he wants to ask Chibikov's daughter, Natalia Stefanova, to marry him, to marry Lomov. Chubikov is overjoyed, assures Lomov that Natalia will accept and leaves to get her. And now, moving on with... Now, moving on with... Uh, get her. So soon, soon Natalia enters and greets Lomov. After exchanging pleasantries, Lomov has difficulty coming to the point about why he wants to see her. Instead, he dis disgraces, talking about their respective families and the land he owns when he mentioned that. His oxen Mojo's borders her land. Natalia, of course, contradicts him, saying that this land belonged to her family. Gradually, the dispute about which family owns oxen Mojo's develops from a polite, from a polite disagreement to a heated argument. Lomov, who is a hypochondriac, begins to feel all types of pains through his body as the discussion takes his turn. Chubikov enters and wonders what their show, show, show thing is about. When Natalia explains, Chubikov quickly takes his daughter's side. At first, Chubikov tries to remain calm and use logic. But he all loses his temper. 
Lama threatened to sue Chebukov, who encountered by saying that Lama are all crazy. Lama calls Chebukov's relative various derogatory names, and Chebukov and Natalia do the same about Lama's relative. And of course, Lama lives in a huff. Then Chibukov tells Natalia that Lomov came to propose marriage to her. She is stunned and soon becomes hysterical. Becomes his hysterical husband about missing the chance to get married. She commands her father to bring Lomov back. Then this is the interesting part. Chibukov fetches Lomov about bring, brings him back, complaining about his various ailments. Well, Natalia apologized to Lomov, admits that oxen made of belong to him, and encouraged him to propose. However, the two of them dis, um, decrease into a conversation about their prize dogs. The talk quickly defaults to an argument about which dog is better. Lomov's kusher and Chibikov master. Hmm, this argument also becomes more and more heated. And soon Lomov begins to feel hard palpitations again. So, once again, Chibikov takes his dog his daughter's side. As before, his claim logic develops into fatalic name calling. Lama pearls as many insults as he receives. However, the argument becomes too much for him and he faints into an armchair. Chubukov and Natalia both think Lomov is dead and become hysterical. Lomov murmurs something and Chubukov asks him to hurry and get married. Still somewhat dazed, Lomov agrees to marry Natalia who accepts and at first seems overjoyed. The couple soon began to argue again about Gusser and Messer. <sighs> Chibukov ends the play on an equal, 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 equally exaggerated note saying, And they live happily ever after. So that's the summary of the story. It is not a full story, just. I just take the very interesting or just take the very important point. So if you haven't seen the story of this drama, I would like to encourage you to feel it or read the story transcript. It is actually a drama. Provide I will leave the link to the materials in the description box below. So make sure to check it out. And thank you to check it out. And thank you for the attention. Thank you, sir, for the very useful material. Furthermore, the second material regarding the discussions of characters to be delivered by Mrs. Rivita Tristiawati. We invite. Thank you, moderator, for your time. Here I will explain about the main character in character, the drama, uh, the proposal by Anton Chikov. Okay, the first character we will discuss is Lamanov or Ivan Vasilovich Lamanov is the main character in the drama proposed by Anna Chikov. He is a man in mid-thirties and she has a suburb and hypochondria. 
he always nervous when he tried to propose. Also, Lamonov, he is a polite person. When he visiting the house of the prospective in laws and aims to propose the girl, like in real life, when we apply for a job and are the girl, we must be polite and respectful to the person who are dealing with and clear and express clear intention and goals. Although in the middle of the conversation, he got into a um, despite with Natalia and it is beyond his control. Lomanov in original aims was to propose Natalia and at the beginning he had already put in place as a groom who will propose very well. In a real life it is very real. Thanks. The second character is Steven Stovanovich Shobukov and is a land owner next to Ivan, a man in his early 70s gladly gave Ivan permission. Her concern is maintaining her wealth and keeping her daughter happy. Um, he is a humble person when there is someone who visits the house and brings good intentions, like in the real life when our house has guests, we should welcome guests warmly and entertain guests properly. So, in the drama that is told, Shobukov has already passionate himself as the house in a real life society. In addition, Shobukov did not interfere with the talks between Lamonov and his Christmas where it was natural. In the real life, the house of time will welcome and welcome guests who come. But if the purpose of the case is not related to him, he will leave and invite the person concerned to chat without interfering. This is very common in the community. Natalia Stefanovna, she can be cheerful and friendly, but stubborn, proud, and possessive. Uh, Natalia, she is a grumpy woman if something provokes emotion. Like in the real world, we can get angry because we we are provoked by emotion with trivial things. But there are people who can be patient with that, or the, or there are also people uh, who can stand those trivial things. The debate that never end is inevitable. However. In the end, there were patients who gave up arguing. One another thing is that Natalia is a woman who is very persistent in defending her opinion, which she thinks um, is right. Even though he spoke of his opinion, she also include evidence so that what she was talking about was not empty. This is a real word, is a reflection of a woman who is tall and smart. She did not feel irritated even to her, open was a boy and could defend her opinion. In the sense that she is a woman who holds fast to her stand. Where men who want to marry their woman come gallantly and politely to the woman's parent house and express their intention well and clearly. Also, when Lomonov talks about something, he's so difficult to talk or express his intentions and just was away to their topic or to another topic like when Natalia clarifies who who owns the Oxano Media House and then they fight. Not only that, when Natalia clarifies who the owns the lane, Lamona bangs to burn and trying to fight with her about the lane and forgetting there is 
intention to marry her. That's each analysis of the character from me and thank you. Thank you Mrs. Rivita Krisiowati for the very useful material. Next, we invite the last speaker who will discuss the relationships between drama characters and real life to Mrs. Vela Disma, we respectfully invite. As the previous speaker said, the characteristic of the character is an important part of the proposal's story. It builds the story's plot. For example, the characteristic of Lomov, from his characteristic, which are insecure, pessimistic, arrogant, obnoxious, and stubborn, build the story's plot. Now, I will explain some of Lomov's characteristics. First is his insecurity. His insecurity is shown when he cannot believe that Natalia is actually love him, even though he is a wealthy, handsome, and a landowner shows his inferiority feelings. It indicates that he is not confident enough with himself which leads to insecure. Lomov's utterances also indicate his lack of confidence and his inconsistency. The second characteristic is arrogant. Lomov's arrogance is shown when Lomov starts talking about Oxymedeus which he inherited it from his late aunt and, his, and her husband, and when he talks about the dogs. It clearly shows Lomov's arrogance behavior because he doesn't want to lose in the debate, and he even wants to bring this matter to the court. The third and the last characteristic that I will explain is stubborn. Someone who often refuses to change his or her opinion can be considered as stubborn. Lomov's stubbornness can be seen when he talks about the land. He insists that the land is his Machupikov's. Even when Natalia asks to stop talking about the land and better talk about something else, he doesn't stop. He keeps talking about the land. This indicates his stubborn behavior. After talking about Lomov's characteristic, moral values can be reflected from it. It gives the readers a reflection about life and that can be taken as a life lesson. From Momo's insecure characteristic, the feeling of worries about unexpected things that happen in life, feeling unconfident in certain situations, make us realize that we all have our insecurity and we can take it as a lesson that we need to be more confident with ourselves. And it's okay to, to feel a little bit of insecure, but it doesn't mean that we should belittle ourselves. From Lomov's arrogant and stubborn characteristic, we might think that some people do have to do have those characteristics or even ourselves. This we can take a lesson from it which is we should respect other person's opinion. Should not force our opinion toward others and we should know when to stop. In conclusion in conclusion from a literary works, we can learn and take the moral value from the characteristic of the character. The characteristic can reflect in real life situation which we can learn about it. Thank you Mrs. Veladisma for providing new knowledge on how to analyze character and relate it to real life. Ladies and gentlemen, that we approach of then the question and answer session. Please, those who want to ask, to raise your hand. You've got mail. Hello, my name is David and I want to ask why in the story Ivan has that kind of character? Thank you for the questions which is quite clear. I invite the speaker to answer. Okay, I will answer the question. Uh, why Ivan have the character like that in the story? Because in the story, the character of Ivan he have hypochondria where he talks he will feel nervous and after that he will forget what we'll say and next he will uh, search another things to talk thank you to the presenters who have provided new informations and knowledge on how to relate drama characters to real life furthermore before closing the event i will conclude the whole even the seminar this time took the topic of Anton Chekhov's drama The Proposal. Anton Chekhov is a great writer who came from Russia. He was born in 1860 and died in 1904. The Proposal is one of his famous works. 
He said that some of his other works are from various genres, namely drama of course, non-fiction, short stories, and novels. In the seminar, what tends to be discussed is the characters of the chefs in the drama. In the drama, the proposal there are three characters, namely Stepan Stepanovich Chubukov, a landowner, Natalia Stepanovna, his doctor, Ivan Vasilevich Lomov, a neighbor of Chubukov. The three of them have a very different characters, starting from Stepan with a character who always wants to make her child happy, Natalia with a cheerful and friendly but possessive character, and Ivan with her anxious character. The characters in these features are closely related to the real world, where there are so many humans who have such characters. Even most women have characters like Natalia, where she is cheerful but possessive of what she has. The following is the conclusions of the seminar that I can take. Before closing the event, I would like to thank the speakers once again, thank the audience for participating, and thanks to the sponsor who also supported the event this time. Finally, I am Yuvina as the moderator. Please resign and apologize if there are many mistakes. Thank you.